it was a groovy old one. Great song. Um, just, there's no guitar in it, so I'm just kind of trying to do some groovy kind of triad stuff and just try to do all the piano hits and everything. So um, the chords are basically going to be C major, B flat major, F major, right? And then your verses will just be G major to F major to C, right? All right, so um, we're going to start out doing this uh, piano intro. So you have your working out of C, right? I'm kind of doing like a half a seventh chord here. So you have your thumb on eight, index finger on a D on eight, and then you're going to have a ninth fret on G. Beat out the A with your thumb. And we're just going to hammer on to 10, right? Actually, we're not hammering on, we're just kind of hitting it. You can do the rhythm however you want. I kind of like to just go up and down. You could just keep it going in 16th notes. All right, so after you get that, you're going to go to 5 7, hammer on and off a D. Okay, and then we're going to go into this B flat. Six on E, and then you're gonna have six on D, seven on G, and then you're gonna be hammering on to uh, eight on D. All right, so you have your C major, and your B flat. Then we're gonna take that same shape down to one and two, right? Thumb on one, index on D on one, G on two, and just go one to three on D. back to C and then I just kind of do this blues lick just to turn it around just bend up 10 on G then hit B and E with an upstroke and then just slide back 11 to 10 pull off to 8 on G and then go 10 to 8 on D and that sets you up to go back into this part right Between the B flat and the F, you could go. You could hammer on three to five if you wanted. It just kind of lost some of the flow for me. So in between these, I do these scratchy sixteenth notes, right? I'll be. Uh, keeping the rhythm going my right hand just never stops so then you just repeat that okay and then we get into the verse now i shortened all these in the intro because some of these get played like 12 times in a row right it's like a seven minute song so um i'm just going to show you just each little part and then you can just play it over and over as the song you know goes so you're gonna have when the singing starts you're gonna start on G right so it'll be a so we're basically going GFC you're gonna start a five four three three just kind of pulse the chord take the pressure on and off slide up to an F major first inversion. A on 12, bar DGB on 10. And then get your C major chord. Thumb on 8, 10, 9, 8, 8. And then back and forth between that F inversion and C again, right? Then you just repeat that. that however many times it does it and then it changes and it'll go into this kind of pre-chorus part this kind of c minor thing 
It's like dun 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 Alright, so basically what we're doing is we're walking down this G. That's what gives it its sound. And what we're gonna play, we're gonna play C minor, G major, C minor seven, C minor six. Alright. So you're gonna start out bar all of three from A down, then have five on D and G, and four on B. That'll be your C minor, right? And then you can keep that bar, right? And then just uh have five on D and four on G. Just don't hit the A string, right? It's just the G major, right? Just that. All right, so you have C minor, G major, and you're gonna go C minor seven. Okay, now you can hit the A again. Just bar all a three, D on a five, four on B, and then we're gonna go C minor six. Okay. Just have bar all of three from A down, five on G, four on B, five on high E, right? And it repeats that however many times it repeats. And you just, so all together you get. So that's that part, C minor, G major, C minor 7, C minor 6. And then it changes, and it's like uh, that pre-chorus again, that all oh, we have is dang on on and break these chains, whatever he says, right? I don't know the lyrics. So um, that part, I'm just going to be doing some triple triad things just to kind of groove and make the song move right, especially playing alone here. So we're going to have, we're just playing C, B flat, and F, right? But we're going to do three triads for each chord. So we're going to have this C major. Okay, so we have 5, 5, 3, G, B, E. All these will be on the G, B, and E string, right? 5, 5, 3. Then you'll have 9, 8, 8. And then you'll have 12, 13, 12. All right, and the rhythm's just going to be... And then you're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna do it two frets down for B flat, right? We're gonna go three, three, one, and then five, or uh, seven, six, six, and then 10, 11, 10. All right, so you have your uh, C, B flat, and then we're gonna go to F, right? F's gonna be different than these in the order they go in, right? So you're gonna have G on two, or B and E on one. Then you're gonna play the D shape of F, five, six, five. And then here you're gonna finish on a 10 G and B, eight on E, right? So that whole little part you get. And we're gonna finish it by going. I'm just kind of mimicking that, hey, to what you say. He hasn't gotten to that part yet, but I'm kind of just hinting at it, right? So we're going to slide in these pentatonic double stops right out of C minor pentatonic. We're going to have 10 on G, 11 on B. Hit it twice and then slide into 12, 13 on B. And we're going to finish it by having B and E on 13. Slide back to 11. And then get B and E on eight, right? This is right out of your pentatonic, your second box to your first box. So you get a. Uh, after you get out of it, where am I? All right, so that's how you get out of it. So that whole thing together, you get. And then after you do that, you can do that a couple times, however many times you want, because all these chords are going to be the same, right? So then, at least for like the pre-chorus and the chorus and all that stuff. 
So then we're going to do, you can do a couple times of just going C, 8, 10, 9, 8, 8, and you can go B flat right here. We haven't gotten to the freedom part yet, right? It kind of builds on that. It takes a little while to get to it. That's why I'm playing so many different things, just so it kind of builds and changes, right? So then just bar D, G, B, and E on 10, have D on 12, 11 on B. And you can kind of use your pinky to do fills on 13 on E and B. Take that same shape to five and seven. We'll play our F chord. Okay, and then you can do your uh, B flat into C. Six, eight, seven, six, six. And then it's to your C, right? Eight, ten, nine, eight, eight. At any point, I can't remember when it starts or how many times it does it, but when you get into the freedom part, a couple different things you can do, several things you can do, right? You could keep playing, you could keep playing the triads if you wanted to, but that doesn't sound that great. You could keep playing this. Freedom, 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 freedom. Right? You could keep playing that if you wanted to. And then you could also play the intro part, right? That's what I like to do, you know. You can kind of change the rhythm a little bit. Instead of going straight, you could just go like a... You could uh, instead of doing the hammer on thing, you could do uh, you could just hammer on once, like have the root of the chord in your bass, and then hammer on eight to ten, and then play the triad right. And just hit it once, like a freedom. stuff if you wanted to or you can just play the intro all right so that's everything um everything is just coming out of c minor pentatonic any licks i'm playing um those are every, that's everything right so the chords all together for your intro it's just c b flat and f right which is also your chorus and pre-chorus. And then your verse, G, F, and then F to C. All right, does that a few times. And then your little C minor thing, the little pre-chorus or whatever you call it. C minor, it's G major, C minor seven, C minor six. All right, does that over and over. And then the other part of the pre-chorus, you can do the triads, just C, B flat, and F. Alright, and then you can play C, B flat, and F a bunch of different ways, leading into the chorus and during the chorus, right? You can do this thing. So there's three different ways you could do the chorus if you wanted to play the rhythm and the melody kind of different. And that's everything, right? It's a long song, um, but these are all the chords you need. These are all the parts. And then you can just kind of break them up and organize them however you want. But um, it's a really great song. It's fun to play. So it's at 93 beats a minute. So uh, just practice slow. Have fun. <laughs>